Hey, oh, Chef Corso, I'm here at uh, Gaswords Park here uh, on the north part of Lake Union. We've got downtown Seattle here. We just went on a urban hike and we walked all the way around this lake this morning. It took about a little over two hours, a really nice urban exploration. And I just made meat salad for our lunch today. An amazing no burner recipe, a great change up from your deli sandwich, uh, standard day hike, urban hike option but stay tuned, I'll show you how to make it. All right, so we're here at the park and we're all ready to make our meat salad. So we just finished a great urban hike around this whole Lake Union situation here. It took us about a couple hours. Urban hikes and day hikes are a great way to get outside where we can't really do that right now, but I've got everything for lunch right here in my, my day pack. And I'm gonna make a no burner recipe today, which is also a really great thing to do. So you don't just have to take a deli sandwich, jerky, mix nuts, all that stuff, like change it up for something different. So I've got all of my ingredients in this nice little handy stuff sack. Got a handy little cutting board, some baby tomatoes, really packable, a couple bowls, and my utensils. So we've got a few different vegetables that you can pack. We've got a red pepper, we've got a zucchini, some baby tomatoes. Uh, make it your own for, for whatever you have in the fridge or whatever sounds good for you today. And we have got some cheese. You could easily use some, some mini cheeses. We've got some cheese curds that are super easy. I've got a nice salami stick. And I've got some sliced ham for our meat salad. Other things you can add are some little packets of baby olives. Those are really handy. And then what I do have in here is our quick little vinaigrette. So this is a, a oil, vinegar, a little bit of oregano, salt and pepper, and I packed it all in here really easy. It's about three or four ounces. And just make sure if you're using the bottle method that it's threaded so you don't have uh, dressing uh, all over your bag. But what we're gonna do is chop up all ingredients and we're gonna put them in a Ziploc bag, mush them all around, let it sit for about five minutes, and we've got lunch. And when you're chopping up these ingredients, they do not have to be perfect because you're outside, it's just gonna be all mushed up anyway. For me, I love olives, so I'm gonna go ahead and add those, add those olives. These are really handy little packs. And again, whatever cheese you have, if you have some pepper jack, that could be pretty good, some mozzarella, some aged cheddar. He's got some really nice cheese curds here. Mm, yeah, I'm getting hungry, that sounds good. Just throw that all in there. Oop, get in there, buddy. And I'm just gonna do a, you can chop this or just do a quick rip like this. We're making a really rustic meat salad. And I don't really care how it looks, I just care how it tastes. Got that all in there. Uh, other meats you could use for this, there's some, uh, some summer sausage, if you have that hanging around. Maybe you have some other kind of salami that you like. Or some turkey and ham, maybe make a, maybe make a cob, cob meat salad. I know you're probably thinking out there too, it's like, oh, well, where's the lettuce? You need lettuce for a salad. It's like, well, no, you really don't. You just need some veggies and a dressing and something, some good combinations of things that, that you like. All right, that looks pretty good to me. The other thing I do love about these stuff sacks is that you can put all your trash right in here and they're machine washable. 
so it's really important to pack everything out. The other thing I do have in here is an onion. Shallots are another really great ingredient to take along because they're small, but my grocery store is all out of that today. So maybe I'll just throw a half an onion in there. And what you can do, if you really like, is you can make this all up at home and have it ready for you when you hit the park for your snack time or break time. But there's something about cooking outside and chopping outside that just is a little bit extra fun. All right, it's looking good. So, so we've got, wow, look at all of that food. It's enough to feed like four people, six people. Other thing you can add to this too is some old crusty uh, bread rolls or uh, some slices of bread and make it a panzanella too, make it a little bit more filling. But this is a kind of a nice uh, keto gluten-free option too for you folks out there. And so shaking up our vinaigrette, our dressing here. And an even simpler version of this is just some oil, maybe some vinegar, and then maybe you add a couple mustard packets to it to give a, a quick little dressing. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip this up, give it a little bit of air in there. So I have a nice uh, salad balloon. It's a really great thing you can do with the kids too. Pass it around get that all mixed up and we're gonna let that sit for around five minutes if you can to let all those flavors come together and that vinaigrette to kind of season everything and I mean I'm at a local park here and I see I've got some extra trash here so I'm just, it's a really great opportunity to, while you're waiting for five minutes, is pick up a little bit of extra crap that's lying around because nobody wants a litter bug out there. So we're just gonna let this sit for a few minutes, but here's your moment of zen today here over looking at the Aurora Bridge in the Fremont neighborhood of Seattle and Lake Union. It's a little bit of a cloudy day, but definitely not a bad day at all. Just gonna bowl this up. You can obviously eat this right out of the bag. Or another really great thing is you can take an old coffee container, use that to mix up. But we've got some nice meat, some nice crunchy veggies, some really great cheese. But there's our quick, easy meat salad here for our urban hike, day hike. Give this a try next time. But get out there because you still can enjoy the outdoors, just a little bit different than normal. But get out there, boca boca.